Hey everyone, welcome to Princess of Gay. I'm your host, Connie, and today we are here with my blind reaction to the Animal Crossing movie. Uh, this is a donation reward for Isabella, and let me tell you a story. So, back in 2020, when the COVID pandemic first hit, uh, it hit like right before two games were set to come out. Uh, Doom Eternal and Animal Crossing New Horizons. And because of everything happening around the same time, it allowed for the communities surrounding those two games, who very different games, to miraculously come together in what I honestly believe to be one of the greatest moments in gaming community history. The way the communities came together in such a show of support and genuine um, like camaraderie and love, it's, it's amazing. Like, they made memes and music and just all kinds of stuff together. They were fully supporting each other and made the beginnings of the pandemic within at least the gaming communities to be extremely wholesome and positive. It, it actually helped a lot of people bridge into the situation that the world was going into at that time and was a pretty big fucking deal because of it. And I have played like early, like the the very first like Doom games and stuff, but I had never played a an Animal Crossing game and I was not really super invested in either of them. But because I have this uh, Switch, I decided, you know, I could I could give Animal Crossing a try. I'm not, I'm not interested in Doom. I could give Animal Crossing a try, give it a chance, and um, let me bring this up for you. Also, I need to charge this when I get the chance. <laughs> but, through playing Animal Crossing, I played over 160 hours or more, according to this. I know you can probably not see that that well, but yeah, 160 hours or more. Um, and I completed my island, I went through multiple sets of, uh, villagers, and pretty much did everything outside of, like, certain DLC stuff, which didn't really interest me, wasn't anything special. So, yeah, I, I played a lot of it. I played a lot of it, and I had fun. I enjoyed it a lot. It was it was a great time. And it was my first Animal Crossing experience. My first time ever playing Animal Crossing. And I enjoyed it. And so now it kind of comes to there is a anime movie about it. And Isabella has requested that I react to it as a donation reward. And so we're going to. Now this movie came out years back. This is before New Horizons, obviously. So, um, I don't even remember exactly when this came out. But this this is, like, based around the old games. So, I'm sure there's not... there. There's going to be villagers in here I might not know. There's going to be villagers missing that I do know. And it's not going to take place on an island. <laughs> um... So yeah, it's it's going to be quite different than what I'm exactly used to. But I should be able to get the gist of it down all fine. Um cuz there there will definitely still be characters I I recognize. I think the biggest issue for me is going to be they're probably going to speak you know, regular language. <laughs> I'm so used to the characters speaker speaking that gibberish that they speak in the game. And they're probably going to be like actual, you know, language in this. So that's going to be interesting. I also assume that there is going to be a villager character. Um, like like you're a human character, I guess you could say. Um, to work off of, I assume it's going to not just be all the animals. But yeah, it's, it's going to be interesting to see, like, what this is even about exactly. 
Like, what's the plot going to be? Is it going to be basically just Animal Crossing? Is it just going to be the plot of that? I, I, I'm, I'm genuinely curious. Because I could see them making a movie out of that, out of that kind of plot. It's just, it's super simple at the same time. So, like, like I, I don't know, like, exactly how this is going to go. Um, but, yeah, I don't know what to expect, really, from this. I don't know, again, who's in it or what kind of, like, how it's going to work. I don't know if there's going to be, like, a quote-unquote villain, per se, um, or any kind of antagonist at all. I don't know. I don't know what the deal with it's going to be. But I'm excited to find out. So we're going to get on with this. We're going to hope for the best. And yeah. Uh, also, I think this is Isabella's first donation reward. Uh, so thank you to uh, Isabella for donating for this uh, as part of our March Double Reward Month. Which is still going on, by the way. If you wish to donate uh, this entire month, you get two rewards for every single donation. Uh, and donations can be any amount. It doesn't matter how big or small. And you can request a movie, a series, something on YouTube, anything you want that you would like to see me react to. So, yeah. I'm open for anything if you want to suggest something in the future. Just let me know. And we can talk through and figure out if I've seen it, it or not. Because there's a lot of things I haven't seen still. Um, but, yeah. So we're just going to get this started and hope for the best. When the screen fades to black, pause this redirect and go to the description below. Follow the link to the reaction, and after you watch it, come back here to the redirect and resume play. Because after it fades to black and it fades back in, everything from that point forward will be my afterthoughts and will contain spoilers to the movie. So, that being said, thank you so much for tuning in, and I will see you at the reaction. And we are back, and we'll begin with spoilers in 3, 2, 1, now. So before I talk about this, I want to show off a couple things here. So first off, this is uh, a commission I got from a friend uh, uh, who does art and everything um, of my Animal Crossing character. Um, the outfit is uh, based off of a real outfit I have, and it's, uh, it's something I actually made in-game as well. So that's fun. <laughs> Um, but yeah, and this is one of the hairstyles I had because I changed my hairstyle a couple times uh, during when I played. But yeah, I got this commission of uh, my Animal Crossing character made. Um, and this is my final set of villagers um, in the game. Um, so as you can see, uh, Margie is there on the couch in the back. Uh, but you see everyone else I had... Um, my the the four in front are my are, are probably my favorite that I had there from like uh pretty early on. Cherry, uh the dog on the left, um she was uh one of my in fact she was the first villager I think I met um when I played. Because you start off with two and you meet one of them like right away, and I believe that was Cherry. But the other ones in the front from left to right, you have Velma the goat. Uh, Marshall the squirrel, I think he is, and uh, Sprinkle the penguin. It's like, they, they were definitely my favorites. Um, and I got all of them naturally except Coco. <laughs> Co there, there's this like website where you, could actu where you could actually pay money to get villagers from people, like real money too. Uh, you could actually pay to get villagers from people who had them and everything, and they would come to your island and... and like, you would do a certain thing to get the, like, villagers interested and everything in coming to your island and everything. Um, there's an entire process for it, and I actually did that just to get Coco as well, because I, I think Coco's adorable. Um, but yeah, so it's like, that's the only one I couldn't find naturally. <laughs> but otherwise, like, this, this was my final set of villagers, the ones I chose to stick with at the end. So, yeah. And myself in the front, of course. Uh, but I haven't played in quite a while. I haven't played in a long time, honestly. Um, but yeah, uh, I, I enjoyed the game for sure. 
Um, and so, what do I think about the movie? Um, it's all right, I guess. My my issue with the movie is it doesn't seem to have any direction to it. Like it's just basically a bunch of random events that all kind of center around the characters in the village. Um, it's like the the only uh, like actual plot to it involves these uh, m messages in a bottle that end up uh, kind of coming to a head in the ending climax at the Winter Festival. But everything else that happens has almost no story or, or proper, um, like, how do I put it? Like, it's, again, it's just kind of a bunch of random events. So there's no, like, actual, like, plot going on. It's just like, oh, these random events are happening here. Let's just focus on these characters for a moment. Let's focus on these characters for a moment. And it's just like, it just hops from character to character randomly. And it's just, there's no sense of, like, cons consistency is the wrong word. But... There's no, like, no sense of consistent storytelling at all. And that's my only issue with it, really. Like, the, the actual, like, characters are fine. I have no issue with any of the characters. I have no issue with the, um... With the, uh... The cutesy and, uh, down-to-earth vibe that the movie just generally had. Like, I, I'm, I have no issue with it ha not having, like, a big main villain or anything or any kind of it big issue come into play it's just without it having some sort of sense of direction it just felt like it was a series of vignettes rather than um rather than a movie and this was apparently theatrical too which is like this is going to entertain like very small children but when you're like older or like even an adult like myself it's like there's it, it it's gonna be hard to keep your attention when it there's not really much of anything actually you know happening <laughs> and, and not, none of it is necessarily bad it's just again it just doesn't have direction to it like you could take um you could take almost any part of this, clip out an entire scene, and not need to see anything that happened before it and fully understand what's going on. Because it, it doesn't rely on anything that came before. It, there's only a couple scenes that really do. Basically, anything with Margie or Sally, as I guess her, as she's called in Japan... Um, anything with her is like that there's an ongoing like plot there and then the stuff regarding the message bottles that lead into the alien stuff um anything other than that like anything with with blathers and his sister anything with the the uh the boy and the alligator dude anything with apollo you could watch that pretty much in any order and it doesn't really matter because it there's no direction to it it's just a bunch of random vignettes like this i feel would have worked better as like a tv special or even a series of like shorts that were released on youtube or something like that would make a lot more sense to me but as a theatrical movie it's just this doesn't feel like a theatrical movie to me um i will say the voice acting is really good the animation the art and animation is actually drop dead gorgeous like that is definitely the biggest positive about this film it, it is beautiful to look at the characters move extremely well the the colors are very bright and vibrant and really just pop the designs are well handled and and well um adapted from the video game style of that time especially um into a more like complete design for the animation and everything 
Um, it, it looks it looks really good. It looks amazing, even. Especially for a movie that came out in... What was it? Let me check to be sure. 2006. This came out in December of 2006. Um, and for a movie that came out in 2006, that's pretty damn amazing. That it has um, that damn good of animation. Um... But yeah, it's just in general, while very good, and while it kept a lot that you would recognize if you've played any of the Animal Crossing games and whatnot, it just, again, it just felt like it needed a little more, a little better of a sense of direction and a little, like, more consistency to that. Um, maybe that's just me, but yeah. Um, there are some characters who didn't appear in this, like Isabel, who, if we're being honest, Isabel is probably the, um, the mascot for Animal Crossing at this point. Like, it was probably originally Tom Nook, um, or maybe, I guess, just the villager model, but Isabel has become the, um, the mascot for Animal Crossing for sure. Um, apparently, according to this, she only debuted in 2012 in, in the New Leaf game. So she's only been in two different games, which is actually surprising for me. I didn't know she was only in two of them. So since she was in the 2012 game is when she debuted. Yeah, she wouldn't be in this because this was from 2007 uh, or 2006. Sorry. Um, there was another game that came out afterwards called City Folk. Uh, that game also came out after this movie. So prior to this movie, there were two games released. The original and Wild World. Um, at least of the main series. It looks like there are some spin-off games as well. Um, like Pocket Camp. Came, okay, that only came out in 2017. Okay. Well, never mind about that one. <laughs> but yeah, it's like it, it includes a lot of stuff you would uh, recognize. Like K.K. Slider, Mr. Rossetti, Tom Nook. It's like they're they're all in this, of course. You have villagers that are recognizable, like Whitney and Margie. I'm calling them by their English names because I know them by their English names. Um But yeah. I think that this is this is a worthwhile thing to have. Like uh, having an Animal Crossing movie is not a bad idea. In fact, it's a good idea. But I, I feel like again, it needs to have more of a a plot to it like a, like an ongoing actual plot um other than just having a couple like random threads that are connected and then just a bunch that aren't <laughs> also apparently according to this i is 11 years old which raises a shit ton of questions like how is an 11 year old moving away from home on her own um, to live in a village with a bunch of strangers. It's like, yeah, everyone there is very nice and kind and helpful, of course. Um, but it's like... How? <laughs> like, I think in Japan, um, kids will move away from home a little earlier uh, sometimes. Like, I think sometimes high schoolers will live on their own. If, if I... If, if... At least if anime is anything to go by. Um, I don't know how accurate that is. But I think I've heard that sometimes, like, high schoolers will, like, go off to school different places away from their fa where their family live and everything, and they'll, like, have apartments or dorms or whatever on their own. Um, which is really odd to think about as an American, because that is not a thing here. <laughs> um, not for high school. But it's, like, I've also heard of, like, kids, like, 11 years old and even maybe even a little younger going around on the streets and everything just walking around on their own as well without parental supervision and that's again that's really fucking weird to me because it's like that is not a thing that would happen here at least it shouldn't um maybe japan is just typically safer in that regard i i don't know i'm not going to assume i i i'm i'm not in the right position to do so at all I'm not the right person to make those kind of statements. I'm just going based on things I've heard. 
I, I, I'm not an expert on this. I do not take my words with any kind of, uh, like, straight up factual information. <laughs> um, but yeah, apparently, uh, this was only released in Japan as well, and Nintendo of America actually directly said that they had no plans to release it in English. So that's interesting in and of itself as well. It just... It was Japanese only, I guess. Um, and yeah, it was it was pretty fun. <laughs> it, it 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 was it was that's how I that's how I kind of put it. It's fun. It, it's fun. It's it's charming, but the, but as a movie, it's not like exceptionally made. It has a couple issues that just keep it from being better than it could be. Um, but yeah. It just... Uh, it could have been better. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, but let's see here. I'm not seeing much of any, like, listings on wikipedia at least of uh people's thoughts on it so let me see if i can go to uh imdb real quick there's a link here to that i want to see it what people say about this film okay on imdb out of what looks like 923 reviews it has a 6.5 out of 10 which is i think pretty fair Let me see if I can find any reviews here. Okay, here's one uh, user review that actually agree kind of agrees with me. Uh, this person, let me see if I can actually find... Uh... Shoot, hold on. I clicked uh, on all the user reviews and then it like switched to a different one. Okay, I'll just go this before I go to the other user reviews. This person gave it a 2 out of 10 and says the plot is jumbled all around and confusing. While this movie is beautifully animated, coming from the games, you can't give it a well plot that is exciting or at least interesting. The movie tries to go for emotional or happy moments in montages, but that doesn't really help or have any development for the story or the characters. I would really want for the Nintendo world to have more anime-style movies that have a well-developed plot. Um, I, 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 I honestly, I very much agree with that. I, I, that, that is kind of basically my thoughts on it. The, it has a lot of montage moments and all, but you don't actually get to know the characters as well as you really would like to. Um, and it's honestly a little bit, uh... It's a little bit weak in there. The person seems to think it's like outright terrible because of that, but I, I disagree. I think that's exaggerated. Um, let's see here. Let's try to find some more. Okay, so this next person says, A sweet and uplifting slice of life adventure gave it an 8 out of 10. I mean... Uh, okay, this is what this person says. I love this movie, sure. It isn't exactly spirited away. It feels more like a TV movie. That's kind of what I was saying. But if you're looking for a pleasant and adorable children's film, this is a lovely option. Sure. I mean, without question, I could agree to that. The backgrounds in the film are simple yet gorgeous. I, I did mention that during the reaction, how the backgrounds were simple and it got more detailed the closer you got. It's actually very refreshing to look at. The CG special effects blend nicely on top of the traditional animation. The animal characters are very simple and cute, and yet somehow they're quite unique and memorable. Actually, that describes the whole movie. It has a feeling of childlike wonder, and it's funny, too. Okay, so this person really liked it, it seems. Um, and, and more so than me, clearly, it seems. But I still liked it, and I agree with a lot of that. a lot of what is said there. Um, let me try to find some negative reviews to talk about as well. Okay, so this person says animation that's it not a good story very empty to be a movie seems for more like a special episode of a show or a season finale not a movie 
You see that that's it, that's what I'm saying. I agree with that as well. It, it it's just it's not put together well. It, it, it's like a series of vignettes, a series of montages. Um, I disagree with this person though. The character uh, or this person says the characters are boring as heck. I actually don't think the characters are boring. That's not an issue for me. And even weird looking at some points, I, I had no issue with that. I wouldn't say the only thing that's good is the animation. It's just, it's the only thing that really stood out out um the art and animation um but it's not a bad movie um let's see here okay here's one that kind of right down the middle this person says non-existent plot boring characters and unexpected comedic events again i disagree on the boring characters part they're not well developed but i wouldn't call them boring I knew when I discovered this Japan-only release movie for one of my favorite games that the cards were stacked against it. It was based on an open-world sandbox-like game that really didn't have a story worth making a movie about. And that really shows. For the first three quarters of the film, there is no clear plot or conflict. It's just aimless and blind events and cameo plugs that add no value and just serve to irritate because of the extent of their uselessness to the story. That is harsh as fuck. Like, that is too harsh. I, this person is a little aggressive here. But when the plot does get going, it has nothing to show for it, and it was not very rewarding anyway. Also, it has a bunch of subplots that go nowhere or actually conclude, then proceed to tell you nothing insightful or entertaining, such as the Tortimer subplot. Um, I actually kind of want to read the rest of this. On that note, the characters are even more flat and boring than I might have expected, with no one really changing throughout the experiences of the story that seemed convincing. And don't give me that it's for kids crap. Kid films can and should have great plots and characters. This film has neither. This person is aggressive, Jesus. One of the main problems that I found quite novel and surprising is that it follows the games too closely. It's almost exclusively the game mechanics just put into animated film. It's quite off-putting at times. But, that being said, the movie is not terrible. It's just not good. There are some very funny scenes. You'll know them when you see them. And overall, I enjoyed watching it, simply because of how ridiculous it was and how forced and contrived it was. But if you don't like movies for this quality, or you know nothing of the Animal Crossing series of the games, I would not recommend this film to you. This person was needlessly aggressive. The movie was not that bad. Um, if I were to give it a ranking, I would probably give it a 6 out of 10. Maybe a 5.5. Um, somewhere between a 5 and a 6. Um, it's, it's not bad by any means. It has value, and, and I can see the appeal in it. But it just doesn't do enough in terms of story. It is very flat with its story. The characters aren't well-developed. And it's just like, they're basically just, here's the characters... Here's their personalities. Get used to it, basically. Which, it's like, they're not, like, bad characters or personalities. Um, it's just... They're just there. They don't do anything with it, really. Um, the story, again, is flat. It just needed to be more tied together. Rather than being a series of uh, montages and whatnot. But... It wasn't bad. Nothing about it was, like, bad. This person was, like, needlessly aggressive and over the top with it. Like, I, I get, like, this person uh, said, um, one of my favorite games. It's like, I understand, like, if you see an adaption of, some, of a game you really like or a manga or whatever else and it disappoints you, it's going to sting a little bit more because it's something that you're a huge fan of. But that kind of reaction is just, it's too over the top. Like, even if I were to, like, see something like, um, like if they made a Legend of Zelda movie, for example, and it just didn't end up living up to the potential, but it wasn't terrible, and I admitted it wasn't terrible, like this person admitted this movie wasn't terrible, I'm not gonna, like, make it seem like that's what I think by just railing into it with every word I say in a review. No. I'm just, I'm going to be honest. I'm going to say, 
it just didn't live up to expectations. Now, there are cases where you can make that point, like the original Super Mario Bros. movie. That was terrible. But that was also terrible for a lot of reasons that um, just were very clear to pretty much everyone. I mean, it's poorly made. It changes so much that it's almost unrecognizable. And the changes they make actually hurt the overall story and characters. It's like pretty much everyone agrees to that. And I mean, of course, make your own opinions, find your own opinions throughout watching whatever. But it's like everyone agrees that it's just poorly made. Like some people, I have actually heard people who enjoy watching the super, the, the original live action Super Mario movie because of it being so bad. They, they think it's a so bad it's good movie. I don't think it's like that. Um, but there's a lot of people who do, and that's great that they actually find some enjoyment in it. But that's like the kind of movie where I think it's a little more justified because that's that one is actually like really notably actively bad compared to this one where it's like this one is just kind of mediocre it's just kind of meh this one doesn't do anything like offensive or wrong or aggressively terrible like again even this person said it wasn't terrible it was just bad but they the way they were talking about it it's like jesus you need to calm down then <laughs> Um, but the the, Mar the live-action Mario movie w w did things that pretty much everyone agrees, like, actively hurt the movie in terms of writing, in terms of storytelling, and it's all subjective. There are probably people out there who actually really like the live-action Mario movie from the late 80s. There probably are. And if, if that's the case, Awesome. I, I mean that's that's great. There are there are movies that are considered genuinely bad that there are people who are genuine fans of, who actually really like and appreciate those movies, and that's awesome. I mean, you could say I'm the same way with the original cut of the Justice League, as much as I fucking hate Joss Whedon. It's like I still like the original cut of the Justice League. Or you could even say uh, with the original Suicide Squad movie from 2016. Those are, those are both movies that are almost universally considered to be bad, but I like them. And I admit that the, um, uh, the Snyder cut of the Justice League movie is better, by the way. I'm just saying. <laughs> but yeah. It's like, I like those movies. I liked Batman v Superman. Those are almost universally hated on and it's like it's all subjective so if you really like this movie that's great that's awesome and i support that it's just like i'm just sharing my opinions and I, i'm just like saying what i think about it all i think this movie was not bad at all not really good but just kind of just above being met just above average like I said, somewhere between a 5 and a 6. I'd say, I, I'd even say between a 5.5 and a 6. I wouldn't put it lower than a 5.5, but I wouldn't put it higher than a 6. So it's somewhere in that range. Um, which is just above being pure meh. It's just above being right in the middle. It's definitely more towards good than it is bad. It's definitely enjoyable. It was enjoyable, fun to watch, and cutesy. Even if it wasn't super well put together, I did still like the characters. Um, I liked the art and animation. And I did like getting to see all the call-outs to the games that I recognized. It's like every, every time something like that appeared, it's like, oh, I was excited to see that. I was excited to see characters I knew. Hell, one of them um, I had in my game, Margie. It's like I actually had her in my on my island in new horizons um so it's like yeah 
I, I was excited to see that. Like, that's that's pretty cool. <laughs> um, I I almost kind of would love to see them though make a new one of these. Um, now that more games have come out, and especially after the huge boom of New Horizons, how big that got during the pandemic and everything, I actually would genuinely love to see them make a, another movie. But this time to have it have more of an actual plot. They could still do the thing with the, the random villager kid coming to, uh, coming to maybe the island this time, base it more around New Horizons. And yeah, they could still have a random assortment, a random pick of different uh, villagers to bring in, different characters, maybe based on who's really popular with the fans right now, and maybe have it go more along the lines of the story of the game. Have it be where the, this kid has to come in and build up this island and make the island thrive and everything. You could make a story out of that that actually feels connected and works and still have all the stuff with the characters being introduced have like a, a plot where like you see like uh, different characters move in but you have a plot where you're where the main character has to go and actually find a new uh villager to bring in stuff like that uh that would be a cool idea stuff like that um and with the animation um of just anime studios and everything being so much better now they could do a lot with that I think there's a lot of potential for the idea of a modern uh, Animal Crossing movie. And I think people would love it. So that would be great to see. It probably won't happen, unfortunately, but it would be great to see. Um, in the meantime, though, I would love to hear your thoughts. Like I said, I'm just kind of lukewarm on this. Um, but let me know, what did you think of the Animal Crossing movie? And thank you once again um, for donating for this, uh, Isabella. I wanted to make sure I got your name right. I, I wasn't 100% there. Um, thank you for donating for this. Um, and yeah, we have more rewards to get through uh, this week and continuing on. But for now, I'm Connie and I'm signing off. See y'all next time.